Let me say, yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. I have to tell you that last Sunday, this time last Sunday, I was dancing in my PJs when I first read that op-ed article by Caroline Kennedy. Yes, I was. I was dancing. I was in the kitchen reading the paper, and I started dancing in my PJs. Because, Caroline, you spoke to the heart of what I was feeling and the heart of what so many Americans have been feeling. We, too, have not had a president who inspired us the way people say they were inspired by your father, President John F. Kennedy, until now. We're excited, we're excited, and we're fired up, we're fired up for the change that has already come. We're fired up because of one man, Barack Obama, who has been able to touch, to touch our hearts and touch our hope and already shown us the change. I know you can feel it. I know you can feel it. That's why you came out here in the rain, because you can feel it. he has already brought to this election process. And just imagine what he's going to do when he gets in the White House. We can feel it already. He has already changed the way we see ourselves and the way we see each other. Iowa and South Carolina prove that. And with your help, California, he can change the way the rest of the world sees us. Come this Tuesday. This is, I believe, a unique moment in our collective history of women's rights and civil rights because so many people have struggled that we would have the right as women people and the right as black people to be considered as equals. And now look at this campaign. The two front runners, a black man and a woman. What that says to me is we have won the struggle, we have won the right to compete fairly and be considered as viable candidates because this election itself is a declaration of victory for women's rights and civil rights. And now we are free. We are free for the first time to be able to take full advantage of all the rights and privileges of American citizenship we struggled so long to achieve. We are free with the right to vote our minds and our hearts. We are free. We are free to be led. We are free to be led by our hearts. We are free from the constrictions of gender and race. And for the first time, we can just vote as we believe. We can vote as we believe. And we can do that because that is what the struggle was for. That was what the struggle was for. You know, after Iowa, there were some women who had the nerve to say to me, how could you, Oprah, how could you? You're a traitor to your gender. Yes. That's how I felt. I was both surprised by that comment and insulted because I've been a woman my whole life.
and every part of me believes in the empowerment of women, but the truth is I'm a free woman. I'm a free woman. I'm a free woman. I'm a free woman. And being, and being free means you get to think for yourself. And you get to decide for yourself what to do. So I say I am not a traitor. No, I'm not a traitor. I'm just following my own truth. And that truth has led me to Barack Obama. to the day when I will vote for a woman for this office and this election has proven that that is possible. But for me, when you have a man like Barack Obama who says, as Toni Morrison said, do you all see what Toni Morrison said? Toni Morrison says, in thinking about the strength of the candidates, I'm going to quote her here, she says, I stunned myself when I came to the following conclusion that in addition to keen intelligence, integrity, and a rare authenticity, Barack exhibits something that has nothing to do with age, experience, race, or gender, and something we don't see in any other candidate. That something, she said, is creative imagination, which coupled with brilliance equals wisdom. And wisdom is a gift. You can't train for wisdom. You can't inherit wisdom. You can't learn wisdom. You can't get wisdom in the workplace. Barack Obama has the gift of wisdom. And then, then this election has just, just brought out the best in folks. Because I heard from some narrow-minded folks who said I was just voting for him because he was black, and I said, that too was insulting to me. Don't play me small. I'm not that small. I'm not that small. Don't play me small. I would never vote for anyone based on gender or race. I'm voting for Barack Obama not because he's black. I'm voting for Barack Obama because he's brilliant. He's brilliant. He is brilliant. into a lot of women who say that they'd already made up their mind before this race started. They say, I'm a woman, I have to vote for a woman. I say that's one way to go. But as free women, you have the right to change your mind. As free women, you have the right to change your mind. That's in this election and in all things. You have the right to change your mind. That's whether you're talking about families, or jobs, relationships, trouble with your meals. You have the right to change your mind. You're not a traitor because you believe and see a better way. I tell all of my friends, and we've had some heated discussions, I'm not here to tell you what to think. I'm just asking you to think and be led by what is the truth for you. 
even my Republican friends say that there's something about Barack Obama that touches him. I have a lot of Republican friends. They're nice people, too. And uh, they say there's something about them that touches them. One of my Republican friends says they were watching, the family was watching um, the Republican debates the other day, and they have a three-year-old son. And their three-year-old son was watching the television and said, where is Rocka Mama? Where is Rocka Mama? Even the child shall lead them. Even a child shall leave them. Shall leave them.